Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video so you guys can see the mic score. That is when I give this racket a score out of 10 in six different categories. So those include styling, power, control, maneuverability, feel, and cool factor. Then I tally it all up and show you guys exactly how it compares to all the other rackets I've reviewed on this channel. But before we get into the review of the Head Prestige Tour, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you wanna see more videos like this, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. If you guys would like to support this channel, you guys can buy me a coffee by hitting that super thanks button right there and giving me a small donation. You guys can also shop my merch at norestapparel.ca. I'm actually wearing one of the new shirts which is from the Grand Slam line. You guys can see the Statue of Liberty embroidered right here. This one is for the US Open. And on the back, you guys can see it says Flushing Meadows, New York, which is the location location of the US Open. Today I've got the all new Head Prestige Tour to review for you guys. Now this right here is the Auxetic version of the Head Prestige. If you guys remember my video from way back when I reviewed the Head Prestige Graphene 360 Plus, that was one of my favorite rackets I've ever reviewed. So this one I was super excited to pick up and give it a test. So far, I've really liked what Head has done with the new Auxetic line. I feel like that technology has really improved the feel of the rackets and has added a lot of control and enlarged the sweet spot when it comes to all these new head rackets that use that auxetic technology. Let's start this review with the specs of the Head Prestige Tour. So this is actually the second heaviest racket in the Prestige line. You can actually get the Head Prestige Pro, which is a little bit heavier, has a little bit bigger swing weight than this one. But this one right here, I find fits into that sweet spot of having a good plow through without being overly heavy that it's unusable. This one right here is a 95 square inch head size, so very control oriented, a little bit smaller than most of the rackets you're gonna find on the market, most of them now being a 98 or 100. The strung weight is 335 grams, so a little bit on the heavier side, but that's gonna give lots of plow through and stability through any shot that you guys are gonna have. This racket is five points headlight, so a lot of that weight is centered down to the bottom, which still allows it to swing very quickly through the air, which if you're somebody who has a quick aggressive game or even somebody who wants to produce a lot of topspin, that's gonna be very helpful with that. The swing weight of this racket is 341. Like I said, it has a lot of plow through the ball. So for those big hitters, you guys are gonna love that. And this one has a 16 by 19 string pattern, which gives it a little bit more pop. Now let me take you guys on court so you guys can see what this racket looks like on the tennis court and how it plays. And I'll give you guys my first impressions of the Head Prestige Tour. My first impressions of the Head Prestige Tour is number one is stability, stability, stability. This racket is extremely stable through all shots. What I mean by that is you're gonna feel very little disruption off of the string bed when you hit the ball. That is because of the weight of this racket and because of the thicker beam that it has. This beam right here is 22 millimeters from top to bottom. So it has a ton of beam width and with that weight coming through the ball, there's not much that really throws this racket off balance when you're swinging. And that's true for any shot, whether you're serving, hitting ground strokes or coming to net, this racket is gonna provide a ton of stability as well as feel. I actually found that the feel of this racket was its greatest quality. I found that it was extremely predictable and I knew exactly what was happening on the string bed and I felt like I could predict how that ball was gonna come off of the racket every time I struck the ball. Now when it comes to feel, that's exactly what I'm looking for and this racket delivered. As you guys know, the Prestige is one of the longest running lines from head and it is typically a player's frame and I would agree that that is true even for this one here. This is definitely geared towards more of the advanced player or if you're a high level intermediate pushing and training to get into that advanced level, you can probably handle this one as well but definitely more towards advanced. 95 square inch head size can be a little bit unforgiving at times if you're not timing things correctly. And if you're a big top spin hitter who brushes quickly up on the ball, that 95 square inch head size could hinder you a little bit in that top spin generation, as opposed to something like a pure arrow, which has that really wide 100 square inch head size. This racket right here is definitely for players who can create their own power because it is 95 square inch. Although it's a 16 by 19 string pattern, it is a quite dense string pattern just because of the smaller head size. So this one is definitely more control oriented. And if you want big power, it's definitely there because of the swing weight, but you have to be able to generate that swing speed yourself. I found that for me, not being the strongest guy out there on the court, it required me to be a little bit more precise with my shots, but luckily this racket has a ton of control. So that wasn't a problem. I was able to pick corners and pick my spots on serve, which would set up the plus one into the opposite corner usually. 
So it ended up working out just fine, but like I said, if you're a stronger person, you'll definitely be able to get the power out of this to hit winners, but if not, it has plenty of control to offer you precision on the court so you can build points and hopefully end them by outmaneuvering your opponent. On serve, this racket performed really well. All that swing weight coming through really helped give a good pop on the ball, and the precision of this racket allowed me to pick my spots really easily. Coming to net with the Prestige Tour, this was actually probably my favorite part of this review because the precision at net was so nice. Because of the stability of the head, as well as the auxetic technology that they're using in this racket, it felt like I was hitting the sweet spot every single time on my volleys, and I felt like I can do anything with the ball, whether it was to drop it short, angle it in any direction, or just crush one of the volleys. I felt like this racket could do it all, and it handled pace extremely well. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that little footage of me hitting with the head prestige tour. I wish I could have captured some more because I really loved playing with this racket. Now let's wrap up this review by giving the head prestige tour a mic score. So starting off with the styling, I think this is one of the best styled rackets I've seen from head and just one of the best styled rackets in general. The color is perfection in my opinion, a really cool look and the longer you look at it, the better this racket looks, which is something I think is a timeless design. Like I said, another part of the styling is having that matte finish down in the throat. That also kind of helps with the maneuverability, but they did it in such a tasteful way. This racket looks incredible. So for those reasons, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 in styling. Next up is the power of this racket. Now this is not a power beast like the head pure drive, which I mention all the time for power, but rather this one is more of a control oriented racket. However, because of the high swing weight of this racket, as long as you have good footwork and you're timing the ball well, there is plenty of power to be had out of this racket, but it does require you to create that power yourself with your technique, your fitness, and footwork. So for those reasons, I gave this racket a seven out of 10 in power. Next up is the control of the racket. Like I said, this is a very control oriented racket, especially being a 95 square inch head size with a more dense version of a 16 by 19 string pattern. This racket felt extremely precise on pretty much every shot. I loved it on serve. And like I said, in my little play test with it, I loved it at the net as well. I found that the control on the volleys was unlike any other racket I've played with. And for those reasons, I gave it a nine out of 10 in control. An absolutely awesome control oriented racket if that's what you're looking for. Next up is the maneuverability. So in this case, I thought that the racket was quite maneuverable. However, because of the larger swing weight and the static weight of this racket being a little bit higher than most, it does require a little bit more effort and the longer you play with it, since you are required to generate a lot of the power yourself, it does tend to start weighing on the arm a little bit the longer you're playing. So for those reasons, I gave it a seven out of 10 in maneuverability. Next up is the feel of the racket. So this one right here, like I said, extremely predictable. I felt like I knew exactly what was happening on the string bed and I felt like I could predict where the shot was gonna be going and at what quality the ball will be leaving the racket. Those are all things I really appreciate in terms of the feel of this racket. And because of the stability as well, it just felt predictable on all shots, no matter what pace was coming my way. So for those reasons, I gave it a nine out of 10 in feel. And finally, we have the cool factor. I take a look at the history of the racket, some of the players endorsing it, and just how it compares to all the other rackets that are generally on the market. I feel like the cool factor for this one is pretty high because although you don't see many players on tour endorsing this one, I think right now we have Marin Cilic who's not really playing as much, but the history of this racket is really what takes it to another level. This one right here has been a go-to for advanced players for such a long time. It's an absolutely iconic racket from the head lineup. It's instantly recognizable with the grommet guard that goes all the way around the racket. And that has been a design feature of this racket on pretty much every prestige that I remember. Just because of the rich history of this racket, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 in the cool factor. When we tally all that up and give this a final mic score, it gets a 51 out of 60. And as you guys can see, once again, the head prestige tops my list. This is coming in tied for second with the Pro Staff V13 that I tested a while ago. One of my favorite rackets, just like the Prestige Pro that I tested last year, this new Auxetic Prestige Tour has been an incredible play test and one racket I would highly recommend, especially if you're a more advanced player looking for more control, looking for more stability and more plow through on your shots, this racket right here absolutely incredible, definitely worth the play test. And I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below on this head prestige tour if you had a chance to play with it. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up my review. Like I said, if you wanna buy me a coffee, hit that super thanks button right below this video. 
That's going to allow you to give me a small donation. You can also shop norestapparel.ca. Check out some of the new merch I've got out there. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of the new Grand Slam collection from my No Rest Apparel company. I'd love to hear some feedback. And you guys can also shop my referral link if you're looking to pick this racket up to the racket guys and they'll cover all your racket sports needs. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.